Hey guys, welcome back to some more XCOM Enemy Known, and uh, we're going to, I know, Unknown, we're going to now, like, uh, Texas apparently, so let's go visit a wall, oh no, this is, well, wait, is, how's this Mexico? Uh oh, America, I think Mexico's invading you. Anyways, so who do we have? We have, uh, still XX, still our default team here, um, perfectly fine with that. I think I got, let me just double check, I have Ghost Armor on, excellent. Okay, and I guess I guess we're pretty good. I don't really want to change anything up, so I think without further ado, let's get going. All right. Some people want to hear me justify why I'm using ghost armor, and I will do that. We have visual on the mission site. Setting down. We're going to be putting down in Mexico for this mission. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. So, here we go. We land in a sparsely populated area, whatever. It looked like a rather big ship, and it looks like we're landing on... What the hell are we landing on? It's bigger on? than anything we've seen so far. Considering the impact, the ship seems to be in relatively good shape. We don't know what to expect in there, but you should make your way to the craft's bridge as quickly as possible. Wow. Okay, so we get a grapple ability now. Oh, we can't really use it anywhere though. Um, I, I don't really understand how. I've ever. I don't think I've ever, ever actually used it. But there's a couple of um, things that it's uh, worthwhile to note with this. Uh, uh, I can't really press F1 for some weird reason. Uh, I'll look up the stats. Um, so you get with the ghost armor, you get three extra spaces for movement. So it's a very highly mobile piece of armor and you also get uh, so you're basically like you put the snipers on the level of support in terms of movement uh, and they also get this ability to ghost which is basically cloaking and cloaking basically what that will do is I can sprint them run them do whatever with with my guys and on their next they, they basically makes them impervious to being hit you can only use it for four times per mission uh, it makes them impervious to being hit which is kind of nice unless it's something like splash or something they still get like six bonus health. It's not as good as Titan armor. You lose about four HP for the movement, but you also do get a plus twenty uh, defense bonus, which is really, really freaking. Frick oh shit! I did not mean to do that. Oh, thank God, nothing happened. All right. Uh, yeah, let's just bring all our guys kind of like over here since I'm so worried. I certainly hope there's actually nothing over there, but we're gonna move, uh... Dan will cover over here. So the nice thing about the little... What? Okay. Does he actually see me? Okay, just in case. Cloak engaged. Okay, so this is this is kind of one of the fun things I can do with this guy. So I can go, I can cloak, and then I can move my guy all the way up, which is something I'm gonna do. So basically, it gives me an opportunity to get snipers into position for the next turn, and they can't get shot at. So, we'll be okay. Oh wait, I did- okay, overwatching her was a really bad idea, because unfortunately whenever they- when they move, she'll shoot. But that's okay, because uh, she didn't shoot, which is good. Okay. So she's been revealed. And now they have- well actually, no, they don't have a higher chance to hit. I, I was wondering why. If you cloak during the same turn, it's supposed to do something like, uh... It's supposed to be like a 100% chance to crit or something. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, 
he came to the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> oh, there's one over there and one over here. So we're just gonna fire at that one. Did you actually what, miss? What the hell just happened? I guess that was a miss. Okay. I guess I guess you're quite done with that. Uh, I do 10 damage. I would rather crit with him. I did the cinematic thing and actually missed because I'm actually used to it actually hitting every every time. And we got we got all of them anyways, so that's okay. So there you go, bit of a demo of uh, cloak, you know. Um, and yeah, it revealed it, it reveals them at the it just lasts a turn, but it doesn't actually activate them even if they can see you, which is kind of neat. I think it's you know what I think it's better as a utility, um, better for utility purposes than anything else, you know, because it's like it's like you could give them Titan armor, but they're not supposed to be. I never run them to the front lines, you know, like. They're in the back, and what someone suggested was that I use um, the floaty sparkly armor, which is the uh, arch archangel armor. But to be honest, I I, did, I wonder actually what it would do in a place like this because you know I haven't really given it a solid try the archangel armor. But you have like uh, structures like this. Would I be able to shoot there? How do I move them up? Like, do I keep them here? You know, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of ifs when it comes to archangel armor. But I think Ghost Armor is really good for giving me uh, tactical opportunities when it when it comes it comes down to it. I don't know. You know what? You give me your opinion, and maybe I'll change my mind. Maybe I'll give it a chance. I think I'll, I think during this let's play though, I'll, I'll definitely probably bring it out just to show you guys. Um, I think it's fun though to do things the way I do it. I I I don't know. I'm just I'm a huge fan of the Ghost Armor. What can I say? All right, let's move everyone here. Just as before, we're seeing a gradual progression in the development of the alien subjects. That heavy armor looks to be near impenetrable. As if the first mutons weren't bad enough. Now they're covering them in armor plating. Okay. Uh, well, let's see here. We're behind half cover. Half cover, as you guys know, is not actually good. Um, what I'm thinking about doing is kind of setting up a... I think I'm just retreating and setting up an ambush. Because he can just go straight back there, which is a much better place. And my heavies will... Uh, um, oh, my snipers can kind of go back here to cover that door, which would actually be probably beneficial. Let's do that. What we're going to do is we're not going to bother with actually approaching them from this vector, so... We're gonna find some better cover. Uh, and he will just go right here. Now, Mr. Shiv, I don't quite know where to put him. This is a really bad, like, awkward door, to be honest. Um, I could put him, like, here. Uh, the possibility, it is possible that they'll come up this way. Alright, this is the plan. That should be good enough. It should be really difficult for them to get all the way up here. And what we're going to do is we're going to hope that they're going to actually come through that, show their faces through that door. Because they actually didn't see the rest of my squad, so they're going to pop in here, hopefully, and, uh... We still don't see them, so we're just going to overwatch. I hear them moving around, though. Okay, they seem to have moved up there. And we hear a, a, a thin man. Alright. They must know something's up because, uh. They keep, uh. Well. You know, I don't like not seeing anything. Alright. Let's, uh. Let's just poke our head out real quick. Oh, there's nothing here. That's, uh. Even worse than I would have suspected. All right, give it a minute. Because the possibility is that they could come from the ramp, and I'm a little bit worried about that. Damn it! 
Oh, we have a place we can just kind of move to engage over here. Nope, nothing here. <laughs> I I kind of was not hoping for this. I was so like we don't see anybody, so we need to get our snipers actually up up in a position to cover. Uh, we'll just move everyone here. Remember, the, the meat of my squad it happens to actually be the snipers, so... Alright, my snipers will actually go up here. So, my two supports will be covering up the the ramp side. Okay, so now we hear them kind of over there. Oh boy. I wonder if that's the same ones we saw before. Oh uh, no, these are different ones. It looks like uh, everyone can kind of see them now. Oh, well that one's gone anyways. He's not too happy with me. Well, we do have a squad site uh, shot with my sniper here. Oops. Uh, we also have uh, the exit menu. So it's uh, always good to take first couple of shots with snipers. Hey, you know what? If I, if I can avoid uh, having to move them too much, you know, that's, that's fine by me. What happened? Didn't I give him a mustache to Volkov? Didn't look like he had he was wearing that nice mustache I gave him. We have a nice little opening here, so might as well take it. Weird that we don't actually see anybody. Oh, here we go. Hey! Okay. Let's see, what do we got? So, both of the, every, all these guys have Titan armor, so it's not even a problem of these, uh... Okay, so he's kind of like behind cover there. It is worth taking the 75% shot. We did miss, however. Uh, we... Let's see what other opportunities for shots we have. Okay. We can make it possibly over up here uh, in like a turn to flank him. Uh, we don't have to worry about too much here. So I'm going to suppress the other one. Unfortunately, that may ruin that thing, which, which is good. For oh, what? Well, that worked out. <laughs> All right. So this is how we're going to do it. Then. We're going to play it like this. I mean, that, that was currency. That was like, a, I don't know what, power reactor or some sort that I could have salvaged. But, uh, you know, this works for me. Oh, don't run away. Oh, fuck. God damn it. You're gonna make me come after you, aren't you? Alright, let's go down here. Uh, do we actually want to be going up this way? Yeah, this is the actual way of progression, so... We don't really have a choice in this case. Uh, we don't want to go too far up here, though. Oh, wait. We have a shot. Worth taking again. Yeah, so the Muton is still up there somewhere. Note to self, don't ever trust the game. Whenever you see anything on the very outskirts. Okay, um, so not much of an opportunity to do anything but move, move up with my guys here. So let's go do that. Fortunately, they're still doing their little move here. Oh, nothing. Okay, let's just reload. 
I mean, we have we have a moment, so we might as well. We haven't even gotten to use these blaster launchers yet, actually. I'm, I'm kind of sad about that. Okay. So... Yeah, oh, there's a lot of guys. Okay, so first... Uh, well, maybe my sniper should be the first to move up, actually. Because they can, they can cover right here. Alright. Now, I kind of want to try that grappling ability. Yeah, you know, just kind of to see. It, it, the curiosity. My curiosity has been, uh, whatever. Okay, let's see how it works, you know, just, just so you don't, know, well, just for science sake. Okay, so let's say grapple. Oh, look at that. Look, it's like right beside it, and I just go, hey, I want to grapple up here. That's how they look when they do it. What do I do? I, I just pre I just pre I left click again. Oh, yeah. Sniper ready. You know, you could just use a little thing there. But yeah, it counts as a move, so you know I have to be I have to be watchful of that. So they get like sixty like they get like sixty defense in this in this like kind of a low cover because they well this counts as uh, this counts as f uh, full cover or not on more than full cover I think sixty because they they have full from that first bonus. Damn, I have to I have to go look at their whenever I'm in combat I gotta have a look at that. Because I am curious as shit of what their defense bonus count says. Well, it looks like, uh... It's time to open it up. And no contact. My least favorite kind of contact is when there's no contact. Alright, let's move one guy up. Oh, here we go. Floaters. And they, they've just fucked off. Uh... Okay, let's do this. You can see one. 60% is not a high enough chance. So, smoke, smoke goes down. Nobody has a shot, so uh, we're gonna wait a turn. Maybe they'll ca maybe they'll come into us. I don't see any easy opportunities. They have the height advantage and everything, so I figured it was just better not to make my move. Oh yeah, here we go. Now I've kind of figured an opportunity would just show up if I just did nothing. Safer bet. Uh, oh, yeah, that's what I was worried about. Now, who got hit? It's just these guys? I was kind of worried about a grenade showing up. Uh-oh. <laughs> I, you know, I was kind of thinking to myself, what? I shouldn't have moved him there, and now I'm actually not regretting that at all. That was a good call. Alright, let's see. He can't get a second shot off. We can shoot him with my sniper and I get a shot on him too. Let's see if we can get both. We, we got no one right now to, to take over. I think we pretty much have everybody in terms of my, uh, my ongoing research. Yeah, that was a mess. Alright. Well, let's see. We... Can we get like a rocket off if we really wanted to? Yeah, we actually could. I don't know if he'll come down to that. 
Because we can down, we just move this person right up. Sorry, let's do it. Yeah, because our heavies can't actually get a shot off. Um, I have some half cover right here where this is no longer cover, so I gotta I gotta consider moving up now. And once again, an opportunity has not really presented itself for a good shot. I could I could consider uh, uh, just kind of coming down with my. Um, I'm going to come down with my sniper right now. He did his job. I'm going to wait for him to make the move once again. Oh, come on. It's Mr. Shiv. The pink smoke getting into him. Ah, uh, Mr. Shiv's got that. He's like dodging like a pro. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm actually looking at this now. Look, Defense 60. Check that out. That's what the Ghost Armor does. Adds 20 bonus to my already full cover. You get uh, 60 defense now. Alright. Now uh, here's, here's what we have in, uh, that we can do. We can take two shots with these uh, heavies. They're not very good chances to hit though. But he gets, uh, he gets two shots to try. You know, 50% might as well be 0%. Like, you're fucking... You know, you can try. The most evasive guy ever. Now, Mr. Shiv probably shouldn't remain in this cover. And 60% ain't gonna cut it. Now here's what my options. You know what? Here's a uh wait. Yeah, okay, he still has the cover. Take the shot. Okay. My plan was to suppress him and it would have counted as full cover if I had missed. But I didn't miss, so it's okay. That's why I like suppression. People bug me and they're like, uh, why do you use suppression rather than shredder rocket? And it's because at a moment's notice, I can make it into full cover. Any, any, and protect whoever, whoever is having trouble. Okay, so here we have an upper floor. I've actually been on this map. This is the part where, uh, uh, one of my, uh, Volkov panicked over here. Okay, I have a plan. You're gonna love my plan. You guys always love my plans, so I know you guys love me. My glide, everyone, etc. Okay, so there is definitely something on the other side of this area, and uh, and so here's the plan. So we're gonna move my snipers up as far as they'll go, right here. My heavies will go into the position right here. Okay. And this is pretty much what I love to do. Ghost. And so I can go into a position like right here. And is that even count as cover? It may not actually count as cover because this stuff counts as cover, but the other stuff does not. But we can just kind of move him wherever. I would prefer to move him into full cover, but if that's not, not fucking, like it's not, not even cover at all, like all, all he needs to do is be in cover, that's it. Okay, so we go over here, nothing. Okay. Time to stealth again. And I'm wondering if I can just make it all the way up here, yeah, we might as well go. Okay. So, we can make very confident and decisive decisions with Ghost. Which is, it's, to me, it's just fantastic. Okay, what did we just see? 
Okay, we have contact. Okay, so they've been revealed. So we have floater, floater, and chrysalid. This sniper in particular is not in a in a very worthwhile spot. Um, however, I can go dash her there. All I have to do is in make her go invisible. They don't actually count as being revealed yet, which is absolutely great for me. Or not. That almost looks like a small fusion reactor. If we could recover it, it may prove extremely useful to our weapons and propulsion research efforts. Okay, we have a sectopod here. We can just kind of hit all of these guys. Okay, so they're they're not too happy with me, but I'll just uh, cloak. Uh, yeah, this really doesn't count as uh, hover. You know, I, I'm really wondering actually what it does. Because they, they shouldn't be able to shoot me this round. Yeah, so he knew I was there, but he's just overwatching at this point. Sorry, I was just I was curious to see what that actually did. Okay, so they know, they know something's up. Okay, so they're overwatching right now. We can do this though. And the blaster launcher will kind of just home in, which is, which is hilarious. Oh, now he's kind of pissed though. Aliens seem to be fielding mechanized units more frequently, and with a much greater range of firepower. How are they going to combat something of that size? We could probably spend years analyzing the inner workings of that thing. So both rockets going off. <laughs> so he just curves. I just curved the RPG. Oh wait, only one of them got hit. Okay. Now, he, now here I have a couple of options. Unfortunately, they know he's here, but I still have the ability to cloak. Uh, I have a chance to hit on most of these guys, even the sectopod. Uh, this guy, however, uh, has a, only two shots available, which I'd want to actually probably preferably just use to cover cover up the other guys. So, uh, we we can move in and try and shoot him with her regular gun, and I think that's a, that's a good idea. Let's do, let's kill him, come on. That's, that's a very evasive guy. Fortunately, this does count as being flanked, but we, we got him. And second pot is down, which is probably the worst thing. I can't take it over. Don't even ask. All right. Uh, we have two shots. Both of them kind of bad. One of them hit though. But however, uh, we actually made it work. It surprises me as much as you guys. Which means I unfortunately don't get a shot with this last one. I, I don't know what's actually blocking his line of sight, but I can actually probably just kind of pop down and uh, actually take a shot. I think something's blocking him over here, so let's try and take a shot over here. There we go. And that's the power of ghost snipers. All of them got into flanking positions. Uh, and that's why I like him. That's why I like it the way it is. Although I didn't quite know that like I would get well I got revealed so they knew I was there, but they didn't shoot me on that turn. I don't know if they can Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said by the power of Grayskull I think someone's in there and they're very cranky. Oh, fuck. And they glitched out and weren't supposed to activate. 
that's not good. Yeah, that uh, door was not open. They shouldn't have seen me, but, uh, you know, I've XCOM everyone. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We move these guys in here. I know, I know they're dashing into positions, but uh, I don't think they're gonna come in. And if they do, they're pretty much dead since I have everyone on Overwatch. I have, my, I, ju I just have my doubts that they're gonna actually bother to come in. It's much better to get everybody behind cover properly. Okay, let's see who we got. Chrysalids. You delicious, delicious chrysalids. You know, Volkov really likes chrysalids, you know? He wants to introduce his little plasma sniper. He really doesn't have a beard anymore. What the hell happened to his beard? Volkov used to be cool. Wow, that's a really evasive chrysalid. You know, the thing is, the closer you are to something, the actually the sniper rifle actually gets a bit of a penalty. This would be a 100% chance to hit if they weren't actually uh, right in a really awkward position. Alright. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't be against my guys moving up here, but let's just uh, pretend that uh, we may be in danger. Okay. So, um... Since I don't see anything, I'm gonna move this guy up here. This is a scary, scary game. Now, let's see what the actual last place is. Uh, so it isn't a very large area, to be honest, but uh... Still, it warrants me to worry enough. Okay, we saw something on the other side there. Oh, here we are. Okay, well, you didn't trigger my overwatch. Yeah, you can take pot shots at me like an asshole. Okay. So, one of my heavies has two shots, and they're both really good shots, so... You'll just kill him. He still even gets the overwatch at, his end, at the end of his turn. It's, that's amazing. Oh, hey, it's Thin Men. Hey. We just killed one of them, pretty badly. And he didn't even trigger a cutscene. You know, that was like the worst fucking possible place you could have gone to, Thin Man. I'm sure my snipers don't actually look like they're ready to actually, uh... ...do anything. Well, whatever. I'm dead now. Alright, once again... We played the Overwatch game. You know, it would probably have been better to have my snipers actually up in that area, but I'll move them up in just a minute. We'll give it one more turn because people have been like coming out of the fucking woodwork and saying hello to me. Okay, so nobody else. Okay, so both of my supports will pick us up or wait. No, he just came through the door. Oh, he's dead now. <laughs> I always love it when they get their uh, little chance to shoot. What the? <laughs> he just flew right towards him. Wow, Dan. That floater wanted you, dude. You know, every time, every time I seem to Overwatch, good things happen to me. So, you now let's continue to Overwatch. All right. Well, I guess nothing else for me to do, but uh. Come up here and say hello. Introduce my uh, my squaddies. All right. So here's a plan: snipers into here. All right. Day Overwatch. Okay. Pistols out because that I can't Overwatch with a sniper. There's a glitch apparently where you can if you switch at the last second, but I'm not gonna glitch the game. I'm I'm not that kind of uh, uh, kind of guy. Okay, heavies dash straight up. 
Uh, is this? Yeah, this is cover. Good. Uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna move my snipers there. D despite the fact it's against my better judgment, uh, I still will do that. Alright, so we hear someone. It's probably just a sectoid commander again. Oh, here we there. That's an interesting place of cover you chose. Um, well, how much does the RPG do? Nine damage, sure. Let's do that. Danger close. Well, that wrecks their cover a little, and mine. Uh, whoops. I kind of want to just go in there and shoot them. As weird as that is. I could stun them just for, like, fun. <laughs> you want to do that? Let's do that. Let's see Let's see if my snipers can come up and, and finish them off if necessary. Eighty-three, eighty. Okay, sure. Let's do that. Sounds fun. <laughs> Uh, ah, uh, get stunned. Thank you. No, wait. Oh, wait. No, no, it did work. It's okay. Well, time to push him off. And we brought up. We brought home another sectoid commander, commander. with us. The operation was a success. Twenty-three de dead. Holy shit. You know, what about the Sectoids families, you know? I mean, Papa Sectoid won't be returning home. So there's really, like, no point in me doing these captures anymore, except just to get their guns and just for fun. That's pretty much it. Another successful mission. Excellent work, Commander. Cool stuff. We got, a. Uh... Newton Elite Autopsy and Sectoid Autopsy. And so we get another alien pistol, an alien grenade, Sectoid corpse, floater corpses, a shit ton of alloys and whatever, and then, yeah. So let's, let's I appreciate do some stuff. your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. This heavily armored unit is fully mechanized, though we're still not sure if it has an organic component within. That's it? That's all you have to say? We're not sure if it has something inside. Advanced construction project, we can do. Um, yeah, I, I don't really realize the, like you get this advanced construction thing really late to speed up construction, I, I, whatever. As if the standard Muton hadn't given us enough trouble, the aliens apparently kept several of these elites in waiting for the later stages of their invasion. Well, that's good for them. Chop that body up. And we can do plasma weaponry, weaponry uh, research credit. And that's pretty much it. I don't really know what I was doing last time. We might as well go do Archangel armor. Whatever, I don't give a fuck. I mean, I'll show it to you guys. I don't really care. I mean, you, in the last mission, you did see me uh, utilizing it. So, you know, it's kind of cool. I... Um, Apparently for alien grenades, all I need is one grenade and then I can have unlimited. It doesn't really matter. In fact, most of this stuff doesn't really matter. Although I can do a drone capture. Let's do that. Sounds fun. The foundry is already warmed up. I'll make sure to notify you as soon as production is finished. Well, let's go to mission control. We'll wait uh, two days. Alright, so Archangel armor, com uh, armor is complete. We can now make Archangel suits, which makes us fly. We can also make hover shivs now, in case you're, you know, doing a, a full shiv run. Uh, how many weapon fragments do I have? I uh, might as well sell these. I didn't damage them. Uh, weapon fragments is like 50. Alright, well, it's not really worth researching the alloy cannon. Although, you know what? At this point, I'm done research for pretty much everything, so at this point... 
so if you're wondering what we're actually doing right now is we're waiting for people to finish um, coming out of the uh, the Psy Labs, which uh, it's gonna be in four days. Now we got this power generator thing. It's all sparkly glowy and shit. And also now our Lyrium generator is done. Uh, we got four more days on that project there. Now that we are in control of the hyperwave beacon, the real question is, what is it going to tell us? Perhaps we should try scanning for UFO activity in the meantime. Apparently I started doing fusion lens upgrade. I don't, I don't even need that ever. I don't know why I did that, but okay. My bad. Uh, let's see what we got. Alright. Um, builders. Oh, okay, well, we'll just wait then. Oh, let's see the results of cyanide testing. We haven't had a candidate respond positively to the testing. We'll have to continue evaluating the remaining troops from the current pool. You fuckers disappoint me. So, um, appar apparently you assholes aren't gifted. Good, good, nice job. So I guess Mr. Colin, uh, whatever that guy's name is, and, uh, I don't know, like Borish or someone. See, look, like, like, oh, by the way, I totally didn't catch on to, um, w w which one is the name? This guy. Negro. Apparently, that guy slipped past my, uh, my, uh, my little name selection process because I thought this, I, I was too busy removing dick jokes that I wasn't, I was completely un unprepared for, uh, well, it's not even racist, but, you know, whatever. So, now we have three more people. And I, I even said it and I didn't even realize it. Alright. Oh, well, we have drone capture now. And actually, let's go and, uh, what is this pending request? Uh, they want three and we have... No, I might as well give it to him. I don't know when I got that request, but I might as well give it to him. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Absolutely no panic Additional at all. Uplink required. All right, and so Fusion Lance is complete. Uh, I guess there's nothing else I can really do. So uh, let's uh, actually wait. Here's here's what we're gonna do. Workshops. Oops. No, no, no. Workshops. Oh God, the workshops. Delicious, delicious workshops. I love you, workshops. Now we're gonna make everything really cheap. Then, uh, I guess this power generator we, don't, we really don't need, but I'm lazy. We'll just keep it there. We'll just keep this going. Commander, we have an incoming transmission from the council. Hey, council, what's up? Uh, we want to do a target. Is Extraction, we get one, two, three dollars to engineers and some panic reduction. Yeah, let's Excellent. go do that. But that we will be for... To seeing your progress. That will be for next time. So until then, we will be watching.